It's June 2nd, 2022. Um, in a different Union Jack today, they're having some memorial service, I suppose. Some, um, they call it a jubilee. Um, again, words that don't really translate over this Atlantic this way necessarily. Um, so I'm in this particular section. Um, this morning, though, I woke up, Linda left the windows open last night, and it was almost like a negative pressure system, um, where you have a pail of water, and you have, like, a siphon pump, and you're able to pull the lever backwards, and it takes the water from the pail and puts it into the cylinder. It's kind of how I feel like somebody took the oxygen out of my lungs, and it's, I mean, my eyes are, I have, I can see right here, it's negative pressure. They're like sucked back into my head as well as I walk around, and it's so hard to breathe right now. Um, and then I said to Linda, I was like, how are you this morning? Because my son seemed to be okay, but he's more petite. Um, he's a different density and time frame. So I asked Linda, who's the next time frame up from myself. Um, she said that she's having trouble breathing. She says, we, I slept with the windows open last night, Nicole. She said, I woke up this morning. She's like, I can, I'm having a gasping for air. Um, so that's what I woke up to this morning. Um, along with, in the headlines... There was a few, I, I don't even know how long ago, because time's totally irrelevant. Um, there was, there's three headline shooters. There's this Topps supermarket. Then it went to Rob Elementary. And then it went to um, Tulsa. TU and then LSA, um, which they 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 pronounce as Tulsa for OK Lahoma, um, in Oklahoma. Um, so there's three of those in a short time span in metaphysical and universe. It means whatever it means in the grand broad spectrum of things um, at wizards and witches and witchcraft and witchcraft is it um, witchcraft are we up to because my breath's been literally taken away like out of my lungs it, the capacity is no longer there to like walk and talk and breathe and hold a breath that's just where the weather's at this morning, though, on the newscast, they wrote it as fog, F-O-G, um, in some kind of crypt that nobody really speaks in my day-to-day, -day, whatever. I stopped, uh, Lewis keeps wanting the Jemco representatives, and I'm, like, looking at his list of whatever, and I'm like, I don't even know if I want to give over my contact to him, but I don't know what to do with it myself. So I asked, I stopped and I asked NYPD officer today, I'm like, you ever heard of this thing called Jumko? He goes, no. And I told him what happened. I said, it's validation for me. It's two contacts. It has a seal. It has a entourage of what's involved it seems legitimate I was like I just I don't have a phone number and even if I did have a phone number I don't have the words to even know where to begin what and how to start a conversation um with the prophet like I mean with what they're saying are the professionals involved and in charge I mean like I I I I, I don't know um so then he asked me about my son, 
I said, yeah, he's fourth grade now. I said, but I, the, another concern of mine, I was like, what is he going to get around on his good looks for his rest of his life? I was like, they're not learning anything in school. I'm really concerned. Um, and then there's um, been going on the deaf defamation. I mean, like, again, who controls the celebrity trials and the celebrity in the mainstream media headlines. It's somebody special. I don't know which section of somebody special because if there's competing, I mean, like, they only show me one monarch. Are there more? I have no idea. I'm so blinded in this field. Um, and so they put on this herd um Depp herd or Amber herd she has a career with something called an Aquaman which is like mm, I mean he's in something called a glad to see you category but like I don't know again then they're saying like there's I don't know that her career might be over I'm like yeah, again, a whole other set of conversations and circumstance I've never been wrapped up in. Um, and so, um, there's a jury deliberation of seven, significant, and then there was an eight at the end of whatever they said, again, significant, beginning and end between moral and mortal conversations. Because, I mean, again, if Hollywood paints you one way and they heard something before you even arrived, or worse yet, they're working for some other set of circumstances, and then the mass heard, H-E-R-D, uses the H-E-A-R-D with some categorical, like, verification or verificaton at, in the magical realm of Hollywood and the movies and the make-believe, right? But if you're making them believe your dream and your dream runs someone into a Elizabeth Smart situation or an alternate Smart situation in alternate herd... I mean, that stampede is going to be detrimental and harmful and hurt in H-E-R-T-S as well as H-U-R-T-S, in which is can spell. Yeah, go, go spell. You mean as a gospel? Right, yeah, I'll go spell. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous just how difficult it is in the physical world of what's in New York at the moment, to even, and in my diet, in the Gemco, um, because, I, again, in a world outside of this world, when time stands still, and I still have a meeting with something that no longer, whatever, and whatever, 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 um, they have a, um, you know, scrap that, That line of argument is just not going to work. So here's what they put on this morning. The jury's decision in favor of Johnny Depp and his defamation suit against Amber Heard came down to the details of that particular case. But some argue that this verdict could have broader implications for the Me Too movement and discourage... And this Me Too, um, not quite sure. Is this sibling related? Because um, again, like if I look at Zodiac Boat and I have one member that looks familiar to me and has shares the same calendar in cosmology as well as some version of cosmetic. But he works in a field that's just as whatever, 
as whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, again, is that going to bring me harm? Which steps in, like, um, what do I do with now these new kids on the whatever that I had in uh, whatever way the burden was laid? And so, I mean, like, again, this gets, like, really confusing in, I mean, what are they all up to? Encourage women from coming forward with their own stories of abuse. We're joined now by New York Times investigative reporter Jody Cantor. You know her well because she helped spark the Me Too movement back in 2017 with her allegations, her reporting rather, on the allegations against Harvey Weinstein. Jody, good to have you back at the table. You're the perfect person to, to talk to this case about because. So now, allegations is spelled all I gate. Now, when I was younger, and I took a picture next to my family member who said he was going to marry me and come back for me. And I did not have to worry about a thing that he would take care of everything. When we had that third grade, like, fashion show, but in, like, a quiet, it's Smithsonian loan. So there's very real record of that particular 1920s bathing suit leaving the Smithsonian being whatever, into the local area of Cold Spring Harbor, where the train st station was mentioned the other night. And I was the person wearing it. And there's a photo somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, I'm just curious. I was worried then about the coming back for me kind of a thing. Um, they wound up getting, I'm assuming, the bathing suit back to the curator and the museum because they take such care in those things I don't understand why the same kit glove and care was not taken for me and the person who chose me and who flew to the area to be there several times in unexpected drop-ins while I was just in some kind of isolated unit under some other, some some protection of some sort at the time. Because there are a lot of chatter about now this is going to set the Me Too movement back. Um, that Amber Heard was, for whatever reason, not believed. What is your take on the case? Does it set the Me Too movement back? Well, you know, in many ways, this did not resemble a classic Me Too case. This kind of belongs to the tradition also of celebrity trials that turn into public spectacle. This was a very bitter divorce in which these two celebrities' personal lives kind of tumbled out into public view. There were some Me Too allegations here. There were some allegations of sexual violence. And I think the relationship to Me Too is the worry that there could be a chilling effect yeah. on women coming forward. Do you feel that? Well, the way Amber Heard was attacked was, in one sense, very familiar. There was a lot of mis- So now I'm just curious, is this dep as in deposit or as in deposition? And then heard the verdict implications ahead of time? Um, again, in this whatever, um, it gets, this gets to be really tricky and really sticky because there are real serious implications and, I mean, like, there's a whole lot of unacknowledged whatever going on, but there's no, no real hand-holding and ever a way out, which is even more frightening. Uh, or a way to a set that resembles something that a human should be stored, housed in, and living amongst or within. I mean, like, this area consists of nothing. There's few, I mean, I have two people and a tag along and then my son. That's it. Outside of this, there's no one. There's some moving humans, but they mean nothing in the sense of, I don't know them. It's not like a community. It's not like they're planning to make my son really successful in his future.
we've seen before by the, public, right? <clears throat> by the public and especially online there was kind of a weaponization mm -hmm. of the reputational warfare online there was almost this heat machine built against her on have you ever seen anything like that i had never seen it at that level and directed at one woman at at that intensity what did you make of a split verdict i just find some form of validation in this, as well as the Gemco piece at the moment. Verdict. I mean, uh, he like, won overwhelmingly. He won all of his, all right. the counts on yeah. his side. But like everything else about this case, it's just messy. Mm -hmm. There are not clear black and white conclusions here. I mean, yeah. is, is that really the case? I mean, the, there yeah. does seem to be a, uh, a definite, as you point out, online... Because somewhere there's a case... There's moving pictures in the magic world, there's screenwriters, there's authors, there's storylines, there's ways to hold and then reference back as a le reference library in some national archive or national mo monument. So there is like a system that's not clearly defined that is able to be like leaned upon if need be, if one gets hurt or lost so horrifically, which is where I feel I am at the moment. The preponderance of support for Johnny Depp, so much so that people yeah. are coming up with all these theories as to why it may, could, could be the facts. And you have the jury on the three counts siding with him. She right. went on, on only one count, uh, and it involves something that Johnny's lawyer said. Right. Um, the thing is, is if you're going to lock somebody in a life in a room that's very small and narrow, that's one thing. But it better be set up like it is the most spectacular set, movie set, and movie script of a lifetime. I mean, the problem with what's been going on is they have me locked in like a torture and horror movie. Which, I mean, that should come with horrific consequences for others. And substantial change. So, is it really a 50-50 no one wins here, or did Johnny Depp take this one? Well, I don't think it's 50-50, but it, but it was a very unusual kind of split cross verdict, yes. which each side uh, was blamed a bit. But in the court of public opinion, I mean, that's where jo the... The, I mean, this trial was conducted like a sports event that was yeah. shown live on TV yeah. with, it may have been slightly familiar to you with. Yeah. Now, I had to listen to her interpretation of that because I've never really watched sports events. I mean, I've been to a Super Bowl party where it was going on on the TV, but for me it was more of a social gathering. It was time out of the house. It looked like a safe environment at the time. And then there was trying to understand and speak to other humans to gather intelligence from their human intelligence as to why they are so jazzed up and dressed up in the sports uniform and why they're cheering and who they're cheering for. And because I don't even know how the two teams on the TV even got there. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, like divine intervention as far as I'm concerned. They played. They got some scores, some runs. They got in. They're there. Woo, it's Super Bowl. I mean, like, what? There's pizza, there's buffalo wings, and somebody drinks soda somewhere, and I just asked for a bottle of water. With, with, you know, it must have been surreal watching a trial play out in that way and the cheering for Johnny Depp, but also the desire to belittle her mm -hmm. is really, I think, the, the and legacy it, and what's and so and overwhelming. It seemed like Johnny Depp was the home team. Yeah. <laughs> We're cheering for the home team. And had, yeah. um, you say that the fact that Amber Heard faced a defamation lawsuit um, is scary to all women. Why so? So that's really important because even though this is a very, very high profile case, it's not singular. We have seen, seen other instances in which defamation lawsuits have been brought against women who came forward with Me Too allegations. So that's a very scary prospect for women who are contemplating. Yeah, being that's, a what, that's what I'm complaint. wondering. Do you think that this will hurt other women who may be thinking about coming and forward? Should that be the lesson? Watch out. Or should, yeah. is it an isolated case with its own particular details? And 
And again, at one level, I get that like a monarch wouldn't want all of these really horrific stories of how the people that they're supposed to be chaperoning in some way or, or caring for in some larger scale in order to prop up one, you have to contribute and then there's some kind of reciprocatory and like broker reciprocity of some sort. Um, but again, so I get how they don't want like loud stories of just how bad things have gotten, but on the other hand, how do they collect any intel worth, like, protecting their own position? I mean, th it's, this is just like, this is a SARS, like a disease chasm, is what it feels like at the moment, in sarcasm. And other women should still feel confident yeah. in coming forward. Every case is different, but I think, first of all, you're right. This was pretty singular. Most women don't have Amber Heard's liberty. They're not going up against Johnny Depp uh, with his fans. So I, I, I think you're right to caution about extrapolating too much from this. But when I've spent a lot of time with women who are deliberating coming forward about something, and they are looking in the public square. You know, years ago it was, well, what about what happened to Trump? What about what happened to Cosby? You know, like, how... And, and, like, here's the other thing. Um, there's no advertising on how to come forward for things. I have no I, I really, my entire life, I've been plagued with the same thing. It's like I belong to somebody really important that claimed me at the beginning of my life that I was going, that I was already very happy that he found me and I didn't have to worry that he would find me again and life, whatever. But... There's been this gap in that reality in all this stuff that's happened. But because of the way I was brought up in such safety and secluded area, in like an isolated, isotonic, like, design for some higher purpose, I have no network established at this common area of Commonwealth and there's been so much drift and change of demograph and topography from elsewhere moving geospatially and geography into here and making it even harder to find what may have been established for some, some at a Commonwealth level, but even reaching out to anything at a Commonwealth level, I have no idea how they're even constructed, because again, it wasn't where whoever was claiming me for future whatever, it wasn't what was presented in an element, in an elementary school. And there were others that were present, present in that level of isolation. Where are they today? Are they taken care of by the same system? Why am I the one who's being beaten daily and gasping for air with nobody to call out to or hold hands with either, might I add? How do I consider my own story and decisions in light of what they're going through? And so I do think women will look at Amber Heard and say, I'm not equipped mm. to go through something like that. Whether it will be determinative right. for them, I don't know. But because this trial just got so much attention, yeah. I think it will be a factor for them. Yeah. Jody, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And our next hour, Amber Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft, will be here in studio to give her reaction to the verdict. That'll be in just a bit. Right now, it's 7.45, 7.46 time. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketterzitz, Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.